the three pawns are about to promote and the other two pawns are obstructed by its own pieces. Nevertheless, these three pawns are still very dangerous. But white makes use of those two knights and wins the game. And the brilliant move is knight g e4. If you are considering knight d3, the best result possible here is a draw by perpetual. So knight g e4 is very important. And now after knight g e4, if black plays f1 is equal to knight, white can just play king h3 and this mate that follows cannot be stopped. Same is the case for rook a1, there's check and then checkmate. After knight g e4, even, even queen doesn't help because there's a checkmate. So after knight g e4, the main continuation is king d1. And after knight c3 check king e1, knight d3 check king f1, there's another knight jump which is brilliant and there is an unavoidable checkmate on g3.